coming into this competition. The bronze medalist in the Olympic Games in the Super G, Meislitzer, powers out of the starting gate, looking very confident in training and also looking incredibly focused in the inspection. The race is not allowed to ski the course prior to competition, just side slipping down to look at all the rollers and undulations, learning it, mentally visualizing the turns. And this is Meissnitzer's chance for another goal for the Austrian team. She's also pre-race favourite for the giant slalom, could take a medal in the downhill. This is the Austrian women's team's answer to Hermann Meyer. And Meissnitzer, very efficient on the top section. 0.46 of a second, almost half a second up on Trude Gimlet. Through the Swiss face, looking very confident, carving the skis through the snow with great efficiency. Now, this is where Sibylla Brown had made the mistake. No such problems for Alexandra Meissnitzer. Oh, in trouble off the French face. Just recovering and just getting inside the gate. But there is no question the speed is there. Over a second quicker. 55, 58 miles per hour through the speed gun. The rollers now will test Meissnitzer's physical strength. Absorbing, she's given all on the top. She's looking a little weak towards the end of her challenge. One last jump to take in onto Pepe's face, and Alexandra Meislitzer has it surely. The question is by how much? 120.53, 1.66 seconds faster than Trudy Gimle. A superb performance from Alexandra Meislitzer. Austria looking good for the combined world champion of 97, Gertrude. A winner in Cortina in this super giant slalom discipline. A double winner on the downhill circuit. Gertrude, one of the favourites to take the speed event this coming Sunday. But again, certainly has the ability, has the aggression. No shortage of that from Renata Gertrude to topple Meisnitzer from the gold medal position. Good aggressive turns again on the top. She'll be close to 31-24 at this first split time. A little wayward off that roller. 900s off the pace. Well within the capabilities of Renata Gertrude. Clearly on the edge. Wonderful change of edges and rhythm coming into the Swiss face. You can see how comfortable Gertrude looks when she's in that tuck. Really searching for speed in the aerodynamic position. Into the French face, and again, a little wild off the jump. 55-1-1, the second target, Gertrude, just over a tenth quicker. Now this was where Meisnitzer got a little ragged, got a little low and late in the line. The first roller absorbed and turned through smoothly. Into the second now. And again, good technique from Gertrude. Into Pepe's face in the finish area. And Gertrude will take this right to the wire. We could be seeing gold and silver for Austria. 120.53, she's missed it. Three hundredths of a second. The wrong side of the clock for Renata Gertrude. She can't believe it. It's celebrations for Austria once again as they stand in the gold and silver medal positions. Michaela Dorfmeister, the fourth and final challenger from the Austrian team. Could make it an Austria 1, 2 and 3. Dorfmeister again on the podium three times this World Cup season. Each and every one of them third. Looked very impressive in the women's downhill training here yesterday and working the legs well in the tuck position. Standing tall to absorb the small jump. And she will be close to Meissnitzer at the split. She's 100th of a second quicker. Again, Austria looking so strong. Strength and depth in their squad, ever present on the World Cup and World Championship competitions. Through the traverse. And carrying good speed, good speed off the Swiss face, off the French face now. Again, just drops a little low. Now it's just 0.31 of a second. The wrong side of the clock, but that is still good enough to knock Martina Ertl out of the bronze medal position to make it an Austrian 1, 2 and 3. Into these rollers now. This is where the legs are burning. The racer is breathing heavily. This is where the mistakes can often be forced. A big F, heavy edge there into Pepe's face. And again, Dorfmeister looking a little tired towards the end of her challenge. 120.53. Dorfmeister makes it Austria. 1, 2 and 3. Gold, silver and bronze for Meissnitz to Gertrude and Dorfmeister. And they're the leader on your screen for the Austrian team.